This is Coney Island, and at this remote place, we bump to somebody we know. So, join me after the intro as we find out who I've met. This is Coney Island. It's an island very close to Pongo, where there's a little bit of history here. But surprisingly, we bumped into someone that we know. Someone that we met earlier at another place. So, who did we find? Well, at the entrance here. Right at the entrance here. Yes. We bumped into our old friends, the long-tailed macaw monkeys. I was actually quite surprised that they actually have a tribe here a tribe of long-tailed macaw monkeys and here I got even closer to them and they had also many little baby monkeys too so as per usual I just stood around and just uh, watched them and also you can see that they are actually quite a draw you see people who actually cycle through here actually stop and look at them what is this uh what did i just see oh uh okay what did i just see uh uh <laughs> i didn't uh, um okay um i guess that is part of life you know, some you know, animals do not have any shame, they don't uh, have any etiquette, you know, they do what they feel like doing um, without any uh, consultation with me or any sensors from YouTube. But it's okay, I guess, it's not human, it's not human, it's monkeys. I guess we got one very raunchy monkey. Look at that. This is nice. Look at that. Harmonious living between two species, human and monkeys, you know. They get along with their life. We don't disturb them. They don't disturb us. We live harmoniously together in the same environment, which is good. Look at the monkeys playing around in the tree. I was actually very surprised to actually find a tribe of our long-tailed macaws here. Because, you know, you heard of you know, the small populations in Sungai Bolo, you know, some of the islands around uh, Bukit Bato, um, you know, where we actually met some actually at McRitchie Reservoir, which is actually at the central catchment area. But here of all places, I didn't know that there were actually monkeys here. So it was actually a very surprise for me to actually see them. A few things first. Um, the monkeys, as you can see, they are very social animals. They also live in groups. And you can also see among them, they like to play among each other. And they also spend a lot of time grooming each other. This, this grooming is actually very important for them because it's a very important social activity for developing friendship and strengthening social bonds between them. Look at that. This actually is a mummy... Mon mommy macaw monkey with a little baby uh, macaw in her arms and we see another one here the little baby monkey is actually holding on to the mommy macaw monkey look at that there's two of them so cute so the long-tailed macaws are actually omnivorous animals so what they do is they eat uh, like the young leaves shoots flowers and they also eat small animals like small reptiles, spiders and insects. So what they do is they actually help, they actually play a role, a natural role, to help to disperse seeds and maintain the natural balance in the forest. Okay, so this is one of the reasons why you are actually, we are told not to feed the monkeys. And look at that, 
the mummy macaw is actually feeding the baby macaw breast milk okay this is the first time i'm seeing this so i'm actually a bit fascinated and look at that they're hiding behind a tree it's just like how humans you know when the mother is breastfeeding she will cover um, herself with a blanket uh, okay not to talk bad about the monkey but those are some droopy nipples really really droopy and when you look at the monkeys the monkeys people think that they're just starving but actually they are not because the forest here provides ample food for them so it's so do not feed them because what happens uh, when you feed them the monkeys will switch uh, to human hand out foods okay and don't eat the, what the nat what naturally they should be eating and this will actually upset the balance of the forest itself <gasps> Look at that. Ah, that's what they were doing. Somehow the monkey actually um, snatched the drink uh, from probably somebody passing by. So, okay, so let me remind you. First of all, do not feed the monkeys. Uh, feeding the monkeys will actually upset the balance, uh, the natural balance of the forest itself here. Also, the monkeys, once they get used to human food, they will not want to eat the plants and the leaves and the fruits and they'll depend on human food. And then they will start to get uh, aggressive because uh, that's how they will get the food from us. Or they'll start snatching things, you know, from people. So that's to, avoid, that's to be avoided. Oh, look, they are having some um, play fighting here. So let's do some narration for the play fighting. Oh, looks like. Oh, looks like. Oh, it's a double team. No, two monkeys, two smaller monkeys are playing with a bigger monkey. And let's see. Oh, one has run away and left the bigger monkey to uh, dominate the smaller monkey. And it's going, it's going. It looks like a fair fight at the moment. He's using his legs, he's using his hands. Oh, then the monkey is coming again, and his brother friend. Three of them are triple teaming him. And let's see how it goes. Oh, they got him in the neck hole. They got him in the headlock. Oh, they still get it. It's a double team. Oh, the big one has got a small one now. And then bear hug. And the rest have gone to climb a tree. More tree climbing monkeys. And at the bottom, they're still fighting. The big one has got the small one on the floor. Oh, he's got the head. No using mouth, that's against the rules. And it's evening time now. Come family, let's go for a walk. So playing, I mean like hanging around like this, it's the same for human human kids also. Human kids learn about their environment, learn about what to do, you know, learn, learn their balance, get stronger, get learns how to use their muscles by playing. So it is the same with the monkeys here. They play with each other, they climb trees, they jump here, they jump there. You know, this is all how they learn to be adult monkeys. And look, one thing interesting about this is, you see, at evening time, 
you can see all the monkeys going out of this area, this wooded area here and go onto the you can call this a causeway anyway to the to the gate here okay even the little monkeys too okay, so you can see that the monkeys are actually eating the leaves they are natural food no they don't drink coke they don't drink seven up no, they eat leaves they eat flowers they eat fruits Oh, they don't eat burgers, they don't eat french fries, so please do not feed them any of that. They don't eat bread. Look at them, they're still climbing from branch to branch to reach the gate here. And look at this little monkey here, it's so cute. Anyway, the monkeys, just like humans, enjoy uh, the wind, you know, enjoy sitting down looking at the water. And look at that, the monkeys are actually walking along the road here and just sitting on the railings and enjoying the setting sun looking at the water just like how humans would do anyway thank you very much we have visited with our relatives again i hope you enjoyed this video this is at corny island so in the next video we will explore more of corny island i hope you will join me for that and thank you very much you know what to do Please like, share, and subscribe uh, if you have not done so. And the most important thing, the thing that you must do is to join me for my next adventure. Bye-bye.